Hi folks, Akwaba. In today's edition, I am going to tell you a bit about a package I got in my PO box. I got a text from the post office saying that I have a package. I went in and it was fish eggs. Fish eggs all the way from somewhere Singapore. That's where the seller was. So um, I, I ordered it online and the fish eggs are in. Today we're going to see how we're going to hatch them and how we're going to take care of them. But in today's edition, we're going to see how we can hatch these uh, eggs and what kind of eggs they are. The name is Fifi for Fish Zoo GH. Right away, let me go on. I wonder myself, this is the package. This is the package here. It was in here in an envelope and it came in that set. I haven't even opened this particular one here yet, but um, it's in a, it's eggs in the soil. I did a bit of a research and it's about Kelly fish. The spelling being K I L L I fish. So Kelly fish, Kelly fish, whatever. Um, it's basically a kind of fish that does not live for long. Um, we have the African ones living for a maximum of about nine months. We have others that can live about a year, uh, just a little over a year. And what it does is that they are able to lay their eggs and then these eggs, we are told, um, can survive the dry season in the soil, wherever it is laid. And then as soon as there are rains, the eggs begin to hatch. So we are going to replicate that in here. But this is the package. This is how it looks. Yeah, this is the package. We have some few things that we need to be able to hatch them though. So I would invite you to my small table right in front of me here. So we do everything together. So obviously we have the package. That's the, the one that contains the eggs for the fishes. And then we have the water, just ordinary water. Um, research online shows that green water is very appropriate but this is just stored water that are filled into the bottle and then also since it's a fresh water fish I'm going to add a bit of salt just in case there's any um, fungus any bacteria anything that can harm them this will take care of it but it will just be a tiny bit we also need um, our container I have this small aquarium here I'll use that as the hatchery how am I going to do this first of all we need to open the package first of all we need to open the package wow I wish I could spread this over a sheet and see if I can find the eggs let me try let me get a sheet so a sheet of paper then see um, I got my, I got white sheets and I want us to probably try and see, let's see if we can see anything in the soil. Yeah, so there's the soil, there's the soil, I'm wondering, I seriously can't find anything. Anyway, I'm trying to do to be very careful not to cause any damages. See, although these eggs are supposed to be hardy enough, but not hardy as in hard, but can withstand some conditions. But mm, some tough conditions, but this. Well, I can't find anything. I can't find anything. I just have to be hopeful here that. This is not a scam, although a lot of people have gotten it and are able to do the hatching and all that. So first of all, there's my container. We'll go ahead, even though we haven't seen the eggs yet. I'm still trying. I'm still trying. I'm still trying. Anyway, we didn't see anything. There's the container we'll be using. We just drop everything in here. 
everything yes yep we dropped everything in here and um we'll be using this water right here but what i'll do is that i'll drop some of the salts in here just a tiny bit just a tiny bit yeah you know we use salt there's just rocky rocky salts here yeah. um, it doesn't contain iodine or anything it's not iodized so it's good for fishes um what but just in a minimum form for your freshwater fishes it helps a lot in their yeah, health so i shake it and now i have the mixture here i will gently pour it yeah Well, if this, these eggs were to be in the rains and the rains are coming down, the rains will not be gentle. So I am only being gentle. Yeah. That's just about it. It's enough. So I'm supposed to keep this about, it's, it's about let's say room temperature is enough. Yeah, room temperature is okay for them. And uh, trying to make sure that nothing sticks to the corners so that's it um, I'll keep this yeah I don't know if you, you can see but this is what I'll be keeping um, I'll keep them under some lights in the aquarium and then see how it goes the fish is from the meal we have them in here I'm still I'm still being curious trying to see the the eggs trying to find the eggs but well what can I do what else can I do so watch out for the next video where we'll find out if these eggs hatched hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so do it do it do it do it hit it so hard and don't forget the bell icon when you hit the bell icon get notified on every video we upload these fishes are supposed to hatch between 5 to 24 hours they are supposed to start hatching so if only they haven't been kept for that long that they are damaged these fishes should these eggs should hatch so hit the subscribe button like and share the video and be expecting an update on how this went thank you